fall is here, and for the small town of Rollinsburg, West Virginia, this means it's time for the 8th Annual Chestnut Tree Festival, where West Virginians come together to celebrate and honor the chestnut tree. The festival brings together those passionate about the chestnut tree to have scientific lectures and education about the tree's restoration. But what's most important to the festival's director, Joe Nassif, is that the people come together to celebrate what makes the chestnut tree so important. It's not as much about the research and the science here going on, it's about the people. We have to get people involved. So we like to be people oriented here. We're, we're a friendly people, you know, we, we just never met a person who's a stranger. Plenty of people do come together, young and old, as the people of Rollisburg have a chance to socialize and sell homemade items from jellies and jam to candles and sewed creations. Also, furniture and kitchenware are sold, made from chestnut wood mostly stripped from old barns. It doesn't stop there. Roasted chestnuts and other chestnut-related food are served all day at the festival. Daryl Dean, who's been roasting chestnuts at the festival for many years now, says it's a great opportunity for the people. Actually, you know, it gives them a chance to socialize a bit. Uh, you know, I'm working here at the grill, so we get to uh, work together and, um, you know, uh, socialize. West Virginia takes pride in its heritage and hopes to keep the chestnut tradition alive by planting a new, disease-resistant chestnut tree every year at the end of the festival in hopes that the tree will grow to its full size of 100 feet tall. Hopefully the festival will inspire more people to plant chestnut trees in West Virginia. My name is Natalie Lorenz, Journalism 386 in Rollisburg.